I am Captain SSK Milavari, the commanding officer of the Naval Dockyard Apprentice School. The school is the cradle of engineering training in the Nigerian Navy and it was recommissioned on the 31st of May 2019. But however, we couldn't take off because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Currently, the school can undertake four engineering specializations, which is the welding and fabrication, uh, carpentry and joinery, electrical electronics, as well as plumbing and pipe fitting. Currently, the school has 19 students undergoing training in welding and fabrication, as well as carpentry and joinery, after they were inaugurated by the Chief of Naval Engineering on the 13th of April, 2022. And it is the progress of these 19 students that we want to document and see what the school has to offer in form of training in these engineering sub-specializations. Thank you very much. I take the under training ratings and how to make use of photocard application. The purpose of them undergoing this, they'll be able to read drawings, they'll be able to produce drawings, and most importantly, advance themselves while making use of them because the basic tools have been taught. I'm Petty Officer Aruna MJ here in Naval Dockyard Apprentice School your instructor in general metal work. And my learned colleague here is Mr. Latif Adeyemi. In this particular board, what you are having here is vernier caliper, your measuring tape. They will have the steel metal rules as well as the steel chalk. Those are what you need for precise measurements. We don't compromise safety. As you put on your PPE, anything that you are doing here, you must maintain standard. By name. I'm the instructor that is taking the student in Naval Dockyard Apprentice School. Naval Dockyard Limited, an engineering firm that is into ship construction, and we are in the carpentry and joinery section. It's a section that helps to handle the furniture works. From this apprentice school that you see here, we should be able to build up good engineers that will be able to handle that section very well. Now you can see, via the process of learning, we would have been able to make the student know the different type of woods. And after knowing the wood, how to work with the wood, that is what we are in for today.